Good day everyone. We're back. Not so sunny a day today. And today's exercise is test seaming and working with the injector and the mechanical water pump. So uh, we're just raising steam this now. We're up to about 60 cent psi. I've got the blower open, that's the big rushing noise you're going to hear. A bit low in water, so we all have to inject at some point fairly soon. And the rest of the up. So I think we'll turn the injector, the um, blower down a touch. So the bore valve is up the front here, and we want it just so we can hear the steam going into the uh, chimney. As I said before, the blower put steam into the base of the chimney, uh, the top of the uh, smoke box, round about there. That then condenses and creates a vacuum, and the vacuum pulls the gases through the boiler, and then they go up the chimney with a higher velocity. So it's a good way of drawing the fire. So we're coming up on uh, 90 psi now. Things are looking good. Things to check as you're steaming up. As I said before, drains, nothing coming out of them. There's no leaks underneath except the, the usual oily bits that are dripping off, as it is a total loss oil system. The siren uh, leaks a bit until it gets rerun and then it cleans its valve up and seals up better. So pressure's coming up nicely. Have a wee look in the fire. Yep, not too ferocious but going along nicely. Okay, our pressure is up uh, 150 psi. Thereabouts. We're low in water, so let's try and inject some water into this engine. pressure has dropped so now you just let it build back up let's have a wee look at the fire the fire is doing okay I think we'll throw the blower on a wee bit harder again and just get the pressure back up quicker she has had a good warming 
uh, periods to steam up and you'll see how quick the pressure will come up when the blower is on with that an even but thin fire so there's plenty of air going through and I don't know about you but I can see that needle moving so that's the injector let's have a look at the mechanical water pump so this is the mechanical water pump we have a valve down here so the water comes up there's a ram at the back here and when the crank is moving the ram is moving at one third the rate of the crank because there's a three to one gear ratio so the pump is always moving it's always engaged so when you're not injecting water you have the valve in the bypass so the pumps the water up through the valve and back down into the tender when you close the bypass the water now comes up the pipe through the pump and out the side valve because it can't go down here so it comes out the side valve and is mechanically injected past the non-return valve into the boiler but that only works when the crank is running so it won't run yet because we're coming up to pressure and uh, we'll do another injection right safety valves are about to lift so I'll turn the floor down somewhat and uh, you'll see the, the safety valves lifting so my safeties are set they should be on 180 but the gauge is slightly reading slightly high so they're slightly pop at 170 and here we go feathering off and things get very loud Right, hopefully we're going to beat the safety valves so water open get the water flowing get the injection on as you can see it's picked up a lot faster and you can hear the safety valves are shutting back down as as we're injecting cold water we're taking the pressure off the boiler so instead of ejecting it as wasted steam out the, the safeties we're using the excess steam to fill the water level up there we go pressure down to 150 again you get about uh, a quarter of the boiler from 180 down to about 130 so we, we do have a, a good leeway for filling so as you see the water level is now quite high up and we're about to drop the injection there we go so the injector has a working range 